Hi there, fancy friends, it's Oliver. Let's have a look at my yoga after three months of training, five days a week. What do you think? Lotus or not? Right, still no Lotus, but in fact, I wasn't believing this too. So, I stay with my Cesar again. To be honest, I don't want to sound like uh, any other yoga practitioner, but I'm glad to start this one. Together with my strength training, um, I feel very, very good. Uh, better than a long time and even if I did not know. Someone of you called me a yogi. Maybe I am one, but um, I didn't see myself as a yoga practitioner. For me, it's just stretching. And um, that's a good thing, because that means um, that this program could reach even more people. Also, many of you told me that I were looking away more relaxed. And that's true, but actually I only noticed it um, as you told me. And I have to say, it's the breathing. As I know, the postures, um, relaxing and breathing went easier and with breathing it becomes even more relaxed. And um, also I'm very glad to have made these videos because if you ask me now, I would have not remembered how bad it actually uh, looked as I got started. But um, let's say it positive, how much better I am now. And for all the skeptic among you, um, as Marcus used to say, yes, there are certainly better program out there, but it's also better to do this one than um, to do another better but complexer program not. Marcus is the uh, friend of mine who told me about this um, program and he is also very satisfied with it. Um, yeah, we will see if I salute you the next video in a real Lotus. But now let's have a look at the exercises. My hamstrings are my biggest fighting side. I feel like I'm making the least progress here, or at least I noticed less here, but you can still see progression. I haven't been able to change much in the terms of height, but now managed uh, to position myself in such a way that I can feel the stretch in my hips and less in my legs. You can hardly see it, but I try to put myself in front. Maybe I will sit higher um, next time. Here I have been gone much deeper in the meantime. In the meantime, I lay on the ground, which is mainly due to the fact that my back has become more flexible. Um, but it remains one of the most uncomfortable uh, positions. I would have thought um, that there would be much less progression seeable here, but from the outside, I can only say I must have misjudged that. Down dog is not so optimal on the carpet, but I always try to take the best possible position to get a V. Uh, it doesn't work that well, but relaxing my neck and hanging my head works fine. I'm still not on the ground, but it's getting better here. Meanwhile, significantly less problems uh, hanging my arms over my head. The shoulder have always been very blocked here. Um, I'm working my way up bit by bit. Actually, my biggest problem will not be can I hold the position, but can I get back up on my own. One side is much better. I have the feeling that I could sometimes reach my fingers with the top right. Um, on the other side, unfortunately, it's not that far, um, which is mainly due to my right arm. I couldn't get up anymore since last time. Um, but my hands weren't turned out as far as I could at uh, the time. And I'm now also working with higher weights for my kettlebells, which takes these exercises even more important. Depending on how I feel on the day, um, I get my legs hooked in from time to time. But um, I prefer to try to put both legs on. It uh, doesn't look like much, but the progress is still notable. What can I say? 
I had actually forgotten how bad my arms were after one month. Uh, but there is more. And uh, now and then my toes crack, but um, I've never been more frightened than the first time. Also because I suddenly sat lower. Thanks for watching and if you just look these yoga videos, see you after one year of practice.